There's nine seals here in total. We adopted our little seal baby pizza. We're in the middle of our beach clean. Life is too short, everybody. Eat the chip. Hello lovely people, welcome back to another video. I'm here in Core Town at the moment in County Wexford and we are about to go and visit some rescue seals. And I'm literally buzzing, I'm trying not to squeal into the camera right now. We've been talking about doing this for the longest time and today we said let's make the 40 minute journey let's go see some seals i really hope you enjoyed today's video i think going to visit a rescue center is very bittersweet because you want to see the animals but you also don't want them to be there because they're obviously in rehabilitation you know you guys don't really get this yet what you do get is storms um, you guys i'm sure you guys remember hurricane ophelia yeah yeah that hit around the time that the gray seals were starting to have their pups so you can imagine a little baby seal in a hurricane Oh no. no. Fantastic. We're expecting to get really busy really soon because right now is when the common seals are starting to have their babies. Mm -hmm. So we have our first two little common pups in at the moment. Noodles and pizza. <laughs> oh, so cute. <laughs> um, so Noodles was our first um, common of the season and he came into us because he was born prematurely and that's usually pretty much a death sentence. The baby fur. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. what a little baby seal feels oh. like. Oh gosh, yeah. <laughs> Can't get over her like dogs there. They're so yeah. pup like, aren't they? They are loving life. Oh my gosh. So his bath is filling up at the moment. He's like, hurry up. <laughs> this is Ophelia. Um, she is a gray seal. She. Oh, oh. oh in she goes. <laughs> she's not graceful. <laughs> to be fair, none of them are. So she's in here by herself because we noticed some cloudiness in her eye and we needed to administer medication for that. Yeah. And the way we do that is we put tablets inside a fish. We might for a little while, but... Hello gorgeous. Um, so Falcor, <laughs> the flipper that isn't facing us, the other one, the front uh -huh. one, um, he broke all the bones in it. Oh god, how them. All the bones have healed but it's just this kind of skin on top, a bit prone to infection. Mm. You're a cutie. Their oh, names are there. absolutely epic. I know. Maui, Merlin. Who else do we have from Disney? <laughs> I have to pick like kid friendly songs for the yeah. shop. And we always we just go Disney and then like yeah. every time a song from Moana would come on, we'd be like, oh it's Maui. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Amy is doing such a wonderful job showing us around. It's so educational. I don't know what I was expecting before we came here. I was kind of expecting to just roll up and see some seals, but we were taken in for almost 40 minutes of pure education, told everything about the seals, why they end up here, the dangers of plastics, and how the, the seal centre is actually trying to reduce plastic. There's incredible work going on, and it really gives me hope, because you all know I'm anti-plastic by now. There's nine seals here in total, and they're all here for varying reasons. Some fishing wire, some because of malnutrition, because they've actually eaten plastic, which is also a major issue with sea turtles. And one of the seals, the baby seals that we saw over there, was actually an orphan seal. Amy told us that if the mother sees people near them on land, she generally won't come back. So they advise you to stay 200 meters away from seals at all times. Look at them if you feel like they're in distress to give the National Helpline a call. I'll leave that number in the description box below. Don't approach them, we'll leave that to the volunteers. We've just been left kind of to our own devices to wander around, have a little look. So we're just wandering around the Pula area, having a look at a couple of the seals that we've been given information about. Oh. oh, you're very noisy. Ophelia is enjoying the best of both worlds. Booty in the sun, head in the water. <laughs> So behind this fence here, there's actually another pool where they pop the seals before they're ready for release. So it's kind of their pre-release stage. They don't want the seals to associate people with food in any way. So it's to kind of minimize the human contact and get them ready to get back into the wild. I'm highly considering adopting a seal myself. It's a single flat fee of 30 euro to start with and you get little pup dates on them. I'm gonna go and have a chat with Danny now and see where we go half some seal. I also think it's absolutely incredible that they are running Ireland's only sea rescue centre on 1200 euro annually from the Irish government. Everything else is donation based and Amy told us that they're spending about 20,000 euro alone on fish every year. So they need all of our help. Same thing that you get? This little friend. I thought I'd still Oh god no. Actually, yeah. I literally used to see my room. That would be you, Jeanette. So this is our adopted seal baby. Congratulations, parents! <laughs> oh, hi, pizza! 
We adopted our little seal baby pizza. It's 30 euro for the single seal and that is up until they get released. And we are going to get invited to his release date, which is absolutely amazing. We'll get to see him released back into the wild whenever that may be. But there's loads of other packages available. I would encourage everybody to pop down and visit the center. I promise it will tug at your heartstrings. It seriously did with me. And a big thank you to our tour guide, Amy, who showed us around. She's so, so fantastic. We learned so much today, but it's time to get out of the sun. Woo! Say thank you to Amy <laughs> for showing us around. She did so, so fantastic. And it's worth a visit, if nothing else, but Amy. <laughs> Come to see Rescue Ireland, oh. see Amy. And see <laughs> Seals. And if you do come down to see Rescue Ireland, which you absolutely should do, I don't know what else you're doing with your day, there's the whole complex surrounding it. It's the Core Town Adventure and Leisure... <laughs> I can't speak. The Core Town Adventure and Leisure Centre. There's the pool and outdoor adventures as well. Plenty of activities for the whole day, for the whole family. And also the beach is just right next door. We're going to go take a walk on the beach and get an ice cream to finish off an absolutely epic day. It is funny how Irish people come to the coast on the hottest days of the year, not realising that it's absolutely freezing when you're here. <laughs> We're going to go and do a two minute beach Don't clean be because we learned actually that plastic is one of the biggest reasons that seals are at the centre. So we're going to go and do our little bit today. Let's go grab some trash. We're in the middle of our beach clean and it's pieces of plastic like this that you wouldn't even notice are on the beach. This looks like it's a baby oil lid. That is so dangerous for any animal that's living in our oceans. We started our clean at about 10 past four and it is now half past four and in 20 minutes this is the amount of rubbish that the three of us managed to collect in just one quick sweep of the beach which is really really upsetting the only upside of it is is that that is not left on the beach now this evening to be washed into the water to end up in the stomachs of our animals so please everybody just take your rubbish home from the beaches with you it's a simple thing that we can do and pop them in your right bin at home if you can't please do make use of the bins here at the beach however we'll try not to let our mood get too low and we'll go and get some lovely chips because there are a few few things better than salty vinegary chips at the seaside. Life is too short everybody. Eat the chip. It's weird sitting here and eating chips because the last time we did it was in Bournemouth. Yes. And we had fish and chips for the very first time and everybody was shocked that I'd never had fish and chips. I had had fish and chips but just not proper English seaside fish and chips. Bournemouth feels like an absolute lifetime ago and it's only literally probably three One or day. four months. <laughs> One day for Danny. Yeah. Danny came home last night by the way folks. I don't think I said that. But for me, it's only about three months ago, three, four months ago that we were there. It feels like we've come a long way with vlogging since then as well. I leave the links to those videos down below. You can kind of go back and have a little lol at how bad I was at vlogging. All right, this is totally random, but Danny just checked out Seal Rescue Ireland on Instagram because I'm about to tag them in a ton of photos that I took today. And we were looking at our little adoptive seal and he was rescued on the 15th of June, which was my birthday. Oh my God, it was meant to be, it was a sign. I have a seal child that was rescued on my birthday. Oh my God, we all have a seal child. <laughs> I mean, you practice them for your vlog. Stop. <laughs> I'm, I have, I'm, you see, oh, but help me into it. <laughs> oh, super casual. Oh, not casual, I can't super get into it. Super lucky. So we're just up in Danny's mom's house actually for a little birthday dinner. It's her birthday today, 4th of July baby. So we just had a little kind of barbecue thing which was absolutely delicious, made by Danny's granny. Oh my God, in my element. It was followed by Black Forest. Bla God, it was followed by Black Forest Gatto Cake, which I, yes, it's gone. So everybody, you haven't met Joey before officially. Only in one vlog did he make a slight appearance. I just want to show you how small I am compared to Danny's 10 year old brother. Hmm. You'll be up on me this time next year. Yeah, by yep. that. Yeah? This is Joy. This is Joy's toothpaste mark. <laughs> Where? <laughs> We had an absolutely epic day today. I can't recommend the seal rescue enough. I even got a little leaflet to take home. I'm going to show a ton of my family and recommend that they go there as soon as possible. And you can actually find Seal Rescue Ireland on Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat. And I also can't wait to receive updates on my little seal child pizza. 
But I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Again, I'd like to say thank you to Seal Rescue Ireland for an absolutely fantastic tour and a fantastic day. If you like these kind of videos, if you like me going places and exploring and talking to the people and letting you know my opinion, please do let me know down below. I absolutely had a blast today. But now it is to go and enjoy the rest of the evening. The hair is up still and I am done, done, done for the day. Just don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and hit subscribe if you haven't already done so. And I will talk to you in my next video. Bye. Thomas.